In an era of escalating maritime tensions in the Indo-Pacific, Australia is fortifying its naval defenses through the integration of the multi-ammunition soft-kill system, the MASS, a sophisticated decoy technology designed to protect Royal Australian Navy vessels from advanced anti-ship missile threats. As part of a $24 billion maritime weapons modernization program under Project C-1300, MASS is being deployed across the RAND's Hobart-class destroyers and Anzac-class frigates, enhancing Australia's ability to counter sensor-guided missiles in a region marked by China's growing naval presence. Developed by Rheinmetall Electronics of Germany and supplied through Rheinmetall Defense Australia, MASS is a state-of-the-art soft kill system that deploys electromagnetic, infrared, and electro-optical decoys to confuse incoming missiles. Capable of responding within milliseconds, the system uses Rheinmetall's Omnitrap decoy rounds to create a multi-spectral defense, diverting threats guided by radar, laser, or infrared sensors. Its omnidirectional coverage ensures 360-degree protection, making it a vital layer in the RAND's defense architecture. MASS complements hard-kill systems like the SM-6, SM-2, and evolved Sea Sparrow Missile Block 2, as well as other soft-kill measures such as the Nolka decoy system, creating a robust shield against modern missile threats. With over 200 installations across 15 navies worldwide, including Germany, Canada, and Norway, MASS brings proven reliability to Australia's fleet, backed by extensive testing in diverse operational environments. The integration of MASS into the RAND's Hobart-class destroyers, HMAS Hobart, Brisbane and Sydney, and all eight Anzac-class frigates is a cornerstone of Australia's response to regional security challenges. In 2023, Rheinmetall Defence Australia secured a $180 million five-year contract to supply and integrate the system, with production underway at the company's Brisbane facility in Queensland. This contract not only equips the RAN with cutting-edge technology, but also supports Australia's sovereign defence industry, creating approximately 45 new jobs and fostering local expertise in advanced defence manufacturing. The integration process began in 2023 with phased rollouts across the designated vessels. While specific completion dates remain undisclosed, the contract's timeline suggests full fleet integration by 2028. The system's modular design allows seamless compatibility with the Saab 9LV combat management systems used on both ship classes, ensuring interoperability with existing defenses like the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System. This integration enhances the RAND's ability to coordinate multiple defensive layers, optimizing response times against complex missile salvos. Strategically, MASS addresses the growing threat of advanced anti-ship missiles, such as China's YJ-12 and YJ-18, which pose significant risks to naval operations in the Indo-Pacific. The 2023 Defense Strategic Review underscored the urgency of enhancing Australia's maritime capabilities, citing a reduced warning period for potential conflicts. By deploying decoys that disrupt missile guidance systems, MASS significantly increases the survivability of RAND vessels, allowing them to operate effectively in contested waters. The system's adaptability to evolving threats ensures it remains relevant against emerging technologies, though future upgrades may be needed to counter hypersonic missiles and swarming drones. Additionally, mass integration aligns with Australia's broader defense investments, including the acquisition of naval strike missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles, and land-based anti-ship systems under Land 4100 Phase 2. These efforts collectively aim to deter aggression and secure Australia's maritime approaches, reinforcing its role as a key partner in regional alliances like AUKUS. The integration of MASS also contributes to Australia's goal of building a resilient defence industrial base. The Brisbane production facility not only manufactures decoy rounds, but also positions Australia to maintain and potentially upgrade MASS independently, reducing reliance on foreign supply chains. This aligns with the government's push for sovereign guided weapons production, 
as seen in plans for naval strike missile and GMLRS manufacturing by 2029. Furthermore, MASS enhances interoperability with allied navies, many of which use Rheinmetall's system, facilitating joint operations in multinational exercises like RIMPAC. The system's deployment on Australia's fleet strengthens its ability to contribute to collective defense efforts alongside the United States, Japan, and other Indo-Pacific partners, particularly in countering China's anti-access area denial strategies. Despite its promise, integrating mass presents challenges. Retrofitting the system onto older Anzac-class frigates may require significant modifications to electrical and structural systems, potentially increasing costs or extending timelines. Limited public data on operational testing and the number of vessels equipped as of June 2025 makes it difficult to assess progress precisely. However, Rheinmetall's global track record with mass suggests that technical hurdles are manageable, with the system's high effectiveness expected to outweigh integration complexities. The RAND's ongoing upgrades to its frigates, including radar and combat system enhancements, further facilitate mass deployment, ensuring compatibility with modernized platforms. Looking ahead, MASS could be considered for future vessels like the Hunter-class frigates or general-purpose frigates under Project C-1390, providing a scalable solution for Australia's evolving naval needs. In conclusion, the integration of the multi-ammunition soft-kill system into Australia's naval fleet is a pivotal step in modernizing the nation's maritime defenses. Through a $180 million initiative with Rheinmetall Defence Australia, the RAN is equipping its Hobart-class destroyers and Anzac-class frigates with a proven decoy system to counter advanced missile threats. Backed by local production and aligned with Australia's strategic imperatives, MASS enhances the survivability of RAN vessels in a volatile region. While challenges like retrofitting and future-proofing persist, its deployment marks a significant milestone in Australia's quest for maritime security, ensuring the RAN remains a formidable full force in the Indo-Pacific for years to come.